Joining us this morning, Melissa Benishai. Mm -hmm. She's best known as the woman behind Fake by Melissa. Sometimes I'll walk by and I'm like, oh, Chanel. <laughs> Don't go in there. So I know, small. I know. But it's, it's so small. It's so good. Little. Now this cupcake connoisseur is going viral, not for her sweets, but her, for her salad making skills. And she joins us now to show us a little something, something. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? You're doing great. Well, I got to tell you, those cupcakes are like a food group at our house. <laughs> yeah. So when I heard that you were going to be doing some salads, I was like, what? Huh? So are we going to have like a salads by Melissa coming up? I mean, who knows? I'm just sharing what I love most with our followers, which is cupcakes, dessert and salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell us about this green goddess yeah. salad that's apparently racked up a few million views on, on TikTok. Yeah, so just like cupcakes, I love to cook, too. And I've been mm. making salads for years, like my whole life, like mm. similar to baking. Mm. So, you know, we've been creating all this TikTok content for Baked by Melissa, and I cook every day. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to film this salad. And it went viral. So I kept doing it. And it's such a simple salad. It's a very fine chop. And I think that similar to Baked by Melissa, I give you the perfect bite mm -hmm. and mm. consistency every time you scoop it mm. with a chip and i think that's part of what makes it you so it with a chip i scoop it with a chip so, so wait, what's your base yeah what's the let's base say, show us how to do it here okay so the base is green cabbage it's kind of like a slaw oh. i guess and what you do is there's a very specific way to get it really fine i am not like a chef by any means you just like cut off a chunk of the side so you can go like this and then you just go and you keep the tip of the knife mm -hmm. on the cutting board mm -hmm. don't pick so it up leverage. and just keep making yes exactly these fine slices okay and mm -hmm. then they usually stay together and what you're going to do then is just turn them around and do the same thing again. which allows you to make it really fine oh. and a sharp knife is key yeah, if always. you are new to the kitchen and you aren't comfortable just go slow i really enjoy the process and i think that's why this salad exists because i enjoy chopping mm -hmm. and the more you do it the better you get and you can go slow and not cut yourself because sharp knives are so what dangerous. else goes into this melissa Okay, so you have your cabbage. I'll get it off to the side. Uh, I like mini cucumbers. Yeah. You could use any type of cucumber. It just gives you more of the, like, flesh of the cucumber and not as much seed. And, again, you do the same thing. You just slice, what, like, strips? Oh. I don't even know the right terminology. <laughs> but everything is and small. Then yeah. Everything You're like is super small. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or, yeah, a fine dice, I think. You want little tiny squares. So, and then you go like this again. And then you throw it in. And really, I love vegetables so much. So mm. I just used all the green vegetables I had on hand when I was making these salads. Green onions mm. are my onion of choice. And green is my favorite color. Mm. So when I first made this salad, I'm like, I'm just going to put everything green that I have in this mm. salad. Well, it's the so, dressing. Yeah, the dressing is really going to be the key. We need to know. Yeah, we like yeah. dressing. Okay, so let's do the dressing super quick. Here we go. I have it right here for you. The dressing is, it has to be green, obviously, mm. and it's inspired by pesto, but I believe every ingredient should be nourishing, especially in a salad. Mm. So it's the juice of two lemons. Okay. And it's a quarter cup of olive oil. Check and, and check. You want to, <laughs> when you're using a blender, you always want to put your liquids in first. Otherwise, it won't blend and it's super annoying. It's two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Again, rice vinegar is just my vinegar of choice. I think it's very mild. I have one small shallot, two cloves of garlic. I have a cup of basil. And when I created the recipe, I didn't want it to be super overpowering with basil because basil can, basil can be very like mm -hmm. peppery yeah. and strong. So I decided to cut it with a cup of fresh spinach leaves, oh. and that also helps make it super green mm -hmm. and bright because people eat with their eyes just as much as they do with their taste buds. Facts. If you have leftover chives from the recipe, you could throw them in or the green onion top from chopping those. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. 
Uh, I love nutritional yeast. My husband was vegan for a period of time, so I got to know it and Ooh. love it. Mm -hmm. And it's vitamin B and protein and so many great nutrients. And then I do a quarter of a cup of cashews and walnuts. Those are my oh, two man. favorite nuts, but you could do any nut you have on hand. And if you have a nut allergy, you can use pumpkin seeds. That works really well. That like really just food. adds to the yeah. yeah, and it like adds to the creaminess. And then a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, which the pink salt also is higher in nutrients Super than healthy. the white stuff. That is Super so healthy. Yeah. So you grind that up, that's it? And you you are gonna want to drink it, and then mm, and you, okay. you can, and because it's all great ingredients, Look you can that. use a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it becomes like it becomes almost like a slaw. Like it's it is it's heavy on the dressing, and this recipe is so super forgiving because you can you can just. If you don't have an ingredient, mm. sub another one. People mm. ask about, oh, like, can I use another lettuce? Absolutely. What's the point of nutritional yeast? I can't find it in my supermarket. Okay, so don't use it. It's, yeah. it's really fine. Mix and match. You could also leave the nuts out. It's really not that necessary. It does and what chip? Fresh. What's your favorite chip to do the dipping? Mm. Okay, so my favorite chip to do the dipping is Zach's Mighty. Ooh, they wow. are a little frontier. Mm. They're, like, thick. Mm -hmm. And when I used to, before I had kids, every Sunday we would make this like Yum. big meal for our friends. Mm -hmm. And my friends would just come and sit at my counter and dip chips in my That's, salad. Yeah, that looks so good. Melissa, Melissa. that looks great. Yeah, we so see good. why it's Open a, a store. Hurry. There you go. Okay. Salad by Melissa. <laughs> thanks, Melissa, thank Melissa. you so much. Thanks. Exactly. Thanks, Melissa. And if you want that recipe, <laughs> you. you can go to our website at today.com slash food. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.